all right, all right. It is Monday night. I feel like this shit's so And fun. I guess... I, <laughs> let, me it over. Let, me get it, let me get it's a motherfucking small. intro or whatnot. We here. Got some usual suspects with me. And this is... I hate keeping the numbers. In episode 18 of the Barcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yes, 18. All right. <laughs> I don't know. It might be 17. <laughs> no, it's 18. Because okay. 15 was cool. 16 is one I want to talk about. Uh, and, and yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, 16 is still somewhere on the books. It's somewhere. Oh, I was there for that one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That shit would have sent us to the moon, though. Oh, I ain't gonna okay. lie to you. Yeah. That shit would have sent us. That would have sent well, us to the fucking moon. What you for? What the fuck? What's the hold up? Post it. It's content. Yeah, no, no. You're right about that. You're right about that. I kept it. I kept the uh no I, you know what it was I kept the video, but didn't keep because no, the audio the audio had cut off halfway through, yes. but all the crazy shit was on the back end, so yeah. I, that's what I do have. Yeah. I got a whole Listen, fucking. They need I'm to like, know that. Nah, hey, everybody be wanting <laughs> behind the scenes. The behind the scenes, nigga. That was behind an the scenes. That was an entire fucking meltdown, man. That I am Mister Know It All. Will the therapist. <laughs> Super star in the building, and uh, Ooh, I feel real special. Yeah, you know, and everybody oh, is God. here, man. And it's Monday night, Don't. Uh, <laughs> so so we're gonna talk some shit today, Star. Are okay. You, are, are you gonna be uh, completely and utterly honest with us? I don't think she. Can. Yes. All right, you came in here with a trench coat. Let's just talk about it. You came here with a trench coat already. first, right? All right. Yes. Was you following a nigga on your way here? No, I was oh, not. Right. Oh. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> That's what I'm just saying. Yeah, 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 I was, I was I never followed anybody. Stalker vibe. And yeah. I'm not going to ever follow nobody. Really? I'm going to wait to catch you when I see you. It's going to be big. Wow. It's going to be big. You don't follow a chick? Well, I don't do that, bro. I don't even. I don't even trip over a chick, bro. <laughs> On some real shit, I promise. Hey, Ain't no girl like, oh, he, he went crazy. He, he, he busted he, this. He, he, tri- this. he tripped over a chick before. Oh, no. no, yeah, yeah, recently. <laughs> <laughs> they all listen. You never. Tr- it's you a lying. life. It's a life you lesson. You never did it. My probably my first love. You're right. My first. She, I think, she I think broke every, me. She broke me. Broke me. I think everybody did that though. Man, and, yeah. and, you know she what? She broke me. Honey was. Vanessa Bird Johnson. I'm put the whole job. Right? <laughs> Shout out to Vanessa. Why would you well, give she, up? She broke my heart. She broke, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout so, out to Vanessa. She did me dirty. So there you go. Shout out. So my other, my <laughs> she other made me a beast. Oh, my other podcast, the people on the podcast always make fun of me because I talk about a time, a specific time where I was crying in the shower. I was hurt, man. I was like 17. Man. But you know what I mean? When you're getting some regular on a regular basis or whatnot, you think you're in love. Right. You know what I'm saying? The world, you know, man. She got caught cheating, cheating. Yeah, Those she be the did best too. kind of loves, though. What? Them young ones. Hell yeah. Cause no, that was should be for, suicidal. Them jewels, though, they definitely. That homicidal, too. They you are definitely to toxic as ever, though. No, it's so toxic. I learned from mine. No, no, that was just because everything. Never again. Everything was so new. Every little experience was so yeah, new. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Fucking, fucking on dirty bags and laundry, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what? Getting rug burn and shit like that. Like that's wait, wait, like wait, that's, wait, 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 wait. This nigga fucking a dirty <laughs> Jones. Dirty right bags of laundry. Why no. she gotta be from North? <laughs> Where's she at? Where was she from, dog? Look, he gonna tell you. Where was she at? She's from West. <laughs> No, nah, she no. Nah, <laughs> she was definitely no joke. She was no. Nah, she was from West. I let her, but but this no. It was at my crib. You know what I'm saying? And my it was my dirty clothes bag in the corner. You know what I'm saying? So that was one of them things. And it was accelerating and whatnot. My mom was downstairs vacuuming and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, Yo, come on, real quick. You had a bed, right? <laughs> yeah, nigga. So but you convinced this girl? Listen, fuck the bed. You see that dirty ass bag of laundry I just threw together? The bed makes and too much then, noise. And then you play football. So uh, it was like some was sweaty, sweaty and gym dirty shit. In shit. It. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. And, 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 and she was face down, ass up in it. <laughs> no, it was no. I I was I loved her. It was missionary. I mean, it was Philly girl then. I loved her. It was girl was bad and regular. Bad. It was regular missionary. You know what I'm saying? No, I loved her. So missionary mean love. 
Yeah, if you, you know, yeah, if you chest to chest, heart beat to heart. You mean love? That's what you're saying. A lot of times, because he said it was missionary. I loved her. Like if, missionary if you, mean love. If you yeah, back in the day, is that was, how you equate missionary? Dog, if you was missionary, you was kissing her on the mouth. It was some that was just that fucking pretty. That don't mean I loved them. Yeah, well, I was. It seven, was some ugly I was 17, jaws. So it was love. Hey, I was in love. Back. <laughs> Yo. Huh? Crick it up. All right, let's talk Gabrielle Union because we ain't been together in a while. You know what I'm saying? I want to talk about this. When this shit came out, I was like, oh, I want a fucking podcast about this shit so bad. You remember that Gabrielle Union shit she said? This might have been before Christmas. I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah. When she said basically she felt like because she was paying bills, then she could be a cheater. Yes, yes, exactly. How do you feel about that? I think that's absolute bullshit. Like, cheating do and bills don't go hand in hand. So that means if you were with somebody, you were seeing that... As long as they're financially able, they can just cheat on him. But she essentially was just basically saying that she could do whatever she wants. Yeah. Because she was the breadwinner. No. That was her big thing. The way no. you wife? No, no, yeah, you yes. but, but there was her ex-husband. She ex was seeing her ex-husband. She was married to some football player ass nigga. Fucking money. Niggas still was getting money. Yeah, but you can't she tell. She was getting more. You can't tell her that shit, because apparently oh, she didn't give a fuck. You make $5 more, now you can go give us <laughs> some yams. <laughs> I need to look at your W-2 every fucking year, every time you get a raise, and make sure you don't make more than me just so you don't cheat on me. That's what you just said? No, that's what she said. That's I disagree crazy, with you know? that. So I you, feel like, at the end of the day, if you choose to be in a relationship, especially a marriage, mm -hmm. no amount of money should make it okay to be do whatever you want to do all right so scrap scrap the cheat my fault i'm just fucking oh, like scrap the cheat for a second do you think that the breadwinner even if it's the woman in the relationship can, Two up. can feel like she can do whatever she want to do let me get some wine what do she want to do sweet like just kind of do whatever she she want to do like move around like she want to move around make as if she was a nigga. If a nigga, as yeah, if it was yeah, vice like, versa. Like, like, you know how, you know what I'm saying? A nigga is out here, you get moving around and getting to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like might be a late night or something like that. Like, he's just out here. You know what I mean? A lot of There's a lot of things that a lot of men do on a regular basis that's kind of chasing a bag, quote unquote, that might not be the same thing that they want their woman to do. So, because you get money, you can do whatever the fuck you want. If you're the bread I genuinely feel like if you, can you make fight more money. Can she fight too? <laughs> can she, she fight too? No, she can't Can she fight. duck? <laughs> <laughs> can she take a left hook? I, I, I need to know these things. <laughs> oh, shit. No, I disagree, though. I do not think being a bread winner makes you able to just do whatever you want to do. That's out of the realm of respect of your relationship. No. Where do you draw the line of respect, though? Because it could be respectful. Which was but it just doesn't seem that way on the surface. What Meaning, you, what, like, what say you, she got to go pick up money at 3 o'clock in the morning? Yeah. From who? <laughs> <laughs> Miss Slaydale, that money going to be there when you get up. No, stop playing with me. You're not getting up 3 o'clock in the morning. Tomorrow you're going to go piss some, some money from Lil' Momo down the street. That means you're giving up some yams. Now, if y'all remember, remember, this was probably, like, this is around the time where we first started. It's probably, like, week five or week six in. We had a nice... Intense ass conversation. It wasn't really a conversation. It was just a chick yelling across the bar, talking about that she's in medical school to be a doctor. Then she Hell said yeah. she was a doctor. And she said she was making two fifty. Then she said she was making one. Hell it was yeah, a whole bunch of shit. Lying. Yeah. So yeah. she essentially because she said at home the boy that was with her was a friend, and she was essentially saying that I make the money, so she can do what she wants. Yeah, she can do what the fuck she wants. But she can to niggas that accept shit like that. Right, right. And usually it's, it, it's the guys who need them for something. Maybe he homeless, he need a place to stay. Or she taking care of him, she doing stuff to put herself in a position to say, all right, I pretty much take care of you. You not going away, so I'm gonna do what the fuck I want. Right, 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 right. But that don't, that's me, that's me. Okay. That don't make it equal. But that's what I'm saying. So, uh, I mean, all in all, in the greater scheme of things, should the line be drawn? Because the one thing that I, you know what I mean, and I hate when I speak because sometimes it sounds very misogynistic, but I don't want to be that guy. But sometimes I got to be that guy. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think that women should be, I think that women should control a lot of the finances in the house, but I don't think they should be the be-all, end-all when it comes to the money. What do you mean by the be all end all? The be all end all when it, if the woman makes more money 
and controls all of the money. So you mean That's she should cut you a check out of her check? No. That's what it sounds like. That's no, no, what no, it no, sounds no, no, like. No, no. It's she, her fucking money. No, 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 well, that's how not, she not going to control her money? But no, no, no. I'm saying, so think about it like this. We talk about this all the time. What's hers is hers and what's yours is hers. Right. Right. So what I'm saying is that, but that also comes with a form of control. If she makes more than you and your shit is hers, at the end of the day, she's going to, even in the back of her mind, and whatever, that's, a, that's just a human trait, but... For some reason, women have this thing into which that they go overboard. Y'all want everything. And it's harder to kind of control that. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all have, like, like it be little shit. Like, y'all have status things. When y'all get a certain age, y'all want a certain thing. Because y'all have a certain age. You see, the women out there, they driving this car. You want that type of car. They got these type of bag. You want the type of bag. Why? Because it's a status thing. A nigga will do shit. Nigga comes up and he wants to get money because money is to be got. But it's not about, I think it's more about status, about the way that you move and what you do when you're a man. But it's about That's what you. That's Soon as y'all hit 50, y'all go through a midlife crisis and want to buy a Corvette. Y'all go through a midlife crisis every fucking first of the month. It's called a period. Talking about. Oh my God. It's not the middle of my month. life that's not a midlife crisis. Yeah, I gotta do that shit on a monthly basis. You do it at one time when I turn 50 and half the niggas ain't even reached there yet. That's so true. you think that every month I'm going to want a new car because my period on? <laughs> no, but he got a point. I don't think that's what he's saying. <laughs> no, but that's a lot the of point that girls... I was making. I was saying, like, men, you're saying when you reach a certain age, you want a certain status or want a certain thing. Men right, are the right. same way. It's no different. I, I they do that. I, I can understand that and whatnot, but I don't think that it comes with, put it like this. If my woman couldn't, couldn't give that to me, I wouldn't blame that on her. If you can't provide that or bring something to the table to help facilitate that as a man with a woman, you be starting to become useless. So you think like basically women feel like who is these women? You feel like women feel like <laughs> what's your, what your grandma tell you? A broke, what's a, what's your yeah, grandma yeah. tell you? A, your, a broke man is like a broke hand, can't do nothing with him. I ain't never heard no shit like that about a woman. <laughs> because back in our back in those days, men were sh- providers and women stayed home. But, so, but how that, you all both stay home? Like, you but can't that's what home. I'm saying. But but uh, what if he's not staying home or whatnot, and he's still a provider? He, you just provide more than he does, or you make enough, you make more than enough to provide in that scenario. If that makes sense. It's you, a, make, you make you make 120, he make 80. What's the problem? <laughs> I know you tell me because it seems as he's if still my man, my man, my man. Look at the expectations <laughs> that these women put out there for these niggas. We're going to play a game in a little bit. Uh, I'm going to ask some questions. Or what Listen. Now. This is the real issue. Uh-huh. It's the attitude that comes along with the status and the money. Ooh, Once somebody about- make a certain amount of money, it's not that they look down on people. They they know their worth, quote unquote. You know what I'm saying? So if I know my worth and I know I'm getting to the bag, I'm not going to allow this nigga who make less than me to treat me like he was treating the other bitches that he made more than. Wow. See what I'm saying? So they got that attitude where... Oh, I'm different. You're gonna treat me like I'm different. What if, he, what if the I'm nigga a was? A, what if the nigga was around for the come up and stuff? He never had a chance to. to Still, to, now, see now that, that part, know? like I get what he's saying because with, even with that, you could come around like it's, you met me and I worked at McDonald's and now I'm a CEO of a Fortune 500 company. Right, right. But right. while I was working at McDonald's and doing my transition, going to school, whatever I was doing, I held you down. You held me down, but you were say. Different ways you might have been moving a little funny. When I get to a certain status, we do sometimes develop this attitude like now, yeah, I'm like my tolerance is different. And see, and that's kind of what I'm saying. Right. It's an expectation. So, so yeah, my tolerance low. is different. Because look, look, all right, like, back to put, the same scenario. Now, you just don't said. play with me. When you was working at McDonald's. Star, don't play with me. You was <laughs> big star. <laughs> you was working at McDonald's. I was being a promoter in the club. I was more successful than right, you. Right, right, right. All right. So I was slipping out with these chicks. You knew about it. You heard about yeah, you it. You were sticking you around. Mm-hmm. But I was helping right. you pay for school and all that type shit. Mm-hmm. You went to school. You graduated. Bang. Now you the CEO. Now you making more money than me. You already know how I am. So now you're gonna shout on me. 
me because you make more money than mm. me. You're not gonna tolerate what I used to, what you used to tolerate from me because you were di- you of a different status. He just summed up everything I just said, and you sitting there thinking about it real hard. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Because what she the fuck knows she's gonna get her no, link I back. Really, really she gonna get her link think back. What I would do? Because right. I think I would have that, that cocky attitude, like nigga. Don't when play, money like, comes, like, that attitude. But see, okay, so, and that's that's what I'm talking about. So that's so is it? Am I wrong for saying that maybe? Just maybe women shouldn't be in that, that that type of platform. Especially when you're in a relationship. If you so you gotta be with somebody that make more than you because other because, than that's because, not because if you lose respect for the man and you don't it becomes a power struggle. Like 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 it's already a second thought. A man never second thinks about what's going on with their woman. If you make less, if you make more or whatnot, I gotta deal with it unless you're insecure. If the man is insecure, he's a fucking noodle, he's a nutball, then you deal with him in that way. When we start talking about, when you start talking about some different shit, like you wanting, you feeling that you're superior in that way is something inside of you, you can't help it. And what I'm saying is that I think that, I think that that's why the status quo was always, maybe it's a, maybe it's a, a plight of the downtrodden. Maybe it's because y'all felt like y'all been held here for this long. And now you feel you like you ain't been you, looked you know at I mean? like you yeah. was a person. You right. was always looked at like a nobody. So yeah. now you a CEO. You got people come up to you, workers. Hey, star. I'm sorry. Hey, balls. Hey, ball. Right. And it's it's feeding your self esteem. You can remain humble, big star. Big star. You can big, you can still remain win. humble, but with all these cop, with all this recognition, your right. title, your status, you know you're somebody. You know they know that you're somebody. Right. But your niggas still treat you like shit. But well, maybe he's not treating you like shit. Still, maybe he's treating you the way he always did. It's still two right. sides to the and queen because you like what the fuck? No, but it's still get two you. sides to the queen because at the same time, what she was saying is she felt like she can do what she wants. That's totally different than, in my opinion, what you're saying. Because I do if if I'm in that situation, no, I don't still feel like I could do what I want and I could be disrespectful. I just feel like I want more respect from you. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> You gaslighting ass. Oh my god. So now you want your feet rubbed and all this other extra That's what shit. I'm yes. If so I wasn't doing all this shit in the beginning, just cause you got a raise at work or you mm. became somebody, don't mean that's gonna change me too. That changes you, not me. Ooh. You can't force me to change and do some shit cause another nigga talking about, ooh, I eat your ass. And I'm then you get home like, like eat my ass. No, I ain't <laughs> eating ass last week. I'm not eating ass this week. I'm not eating <laughs> your ass, big star. But see, that's the whole thing. And I think Unless the expectation, you, uh, but see, all right, so think about the power struggle. Let's say you up, and then he come up. up. If you, do you think that that nigga's not going to resent you for that? I think that if he, if I'm up and he come up, up, he going to really shit on me. He is because of the way that you treated him when he wasn't in that How way. did I treat him? Why do you think that? All right, so why do you think that way? Because of, the way you, that because of the way you treated that No, because I feel like that's thinks. how No, 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 no I no, feel no. like that's how men be she sometimes She just said If she's men, that way Kanye said When he get on He leave ass for a white girl oh. I don't even look at it as And I'm not talking about Just skin color Right, right, right Right I now you cool good. with me yeah, yeah. But when you get up here And now it's more better So that you think Chicks coming at you This and that, this and that Now, now I ain't good enough No, you can't I don't I think you can A lot of women can't oh, Handle the, the fact body, that I'm just saying Go ahead Go ahead, go ahead. It's all. He didn't wait. Why say he's quiet? No, because if you look fine natural, you look fine natural. Just because that that girl. Oh, yeah, I love myself. No, no, no. Listen, it's a difference. That girl body like, ooh, I might want to fuck her because her ass faded. But you was like, it's the way a certain woman is put together. Like, oh, she's smart. She she can have my back. This bitch, she a trophy chick. I can fuck, show her all, slap on the ass. But with you, it's like, that's somebody I would want to have my back. It's a difference. It ain't about the body. It's how you how confident not, you make me feel. I'm just using that and as certain don't things make that men... don't confident no more when they got money. Men they, right, right. switch up. When they, when they come up, they switch up. Not all up. men, though. But, but you, you already got it. your guard up. Do, do you that's see crazy. How, do you see how fickle this conversation becomes? Because we start talking about just relationships. The relationship, the... The way that we coexist, what happens is that you got men out here who get who try to give so much of that, and then when the shit don't work out, they go to just being extremely materialistic on all in all fronts. They don't give a fuck yeah. if the bitch smart or not. They just want a trophy wife. Right. Because I don't need That's you for your money point. no more. Right. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Because now when they was when they was down and they was with somebody and they was they felt like they gave them an equal playing right. field, they got shadowed. So that's what I'm saying. Like, See, like, I'm I, not no shit one type of person. 
I can't. just think that, like I said, if I probably Purposely. had more, if me. I had more, then I feel like maybe my tolerance for bullshit would be less. But That's you it. just danced around the pile of shit on. You know what I mean? That exactly, that was shit right there. You just danced. Oh, you ain't shit on it, nigga. You just, you shat in a piece of paper and threw it in his face. That's how no you know I'm worth saying? now. Right, because you know your worth, so automatically, in your mind, you've already come up. So sometimes, it, so, do you so, ever think that sometimes women want to come up just so they could be treated better? Because they feel like maybe if I could bring more to the table, then I can, I'm going to get more respect. Ooh, let's talk about that. Wow, well, you, you are the, the queen like of segue. <laughs> queen of segue, because let's, like play, let's play the table game. Okay. Let's play the table game. All right, in a relationship. Will, you go first. In a relationship, what you bring to the table? Then star, you follow up. What you bring to the table? Mr. the table. Let's lay it out. My table, see my table start off. I got the marble. You know what I'm saying? Oh shit! It's from overseas. You know what I'm saying? Like I brought myself up from the straps. The shit I bring from the table, I'm street smart and I'm book smart. You know what I'm saying? And I know the game. I know the hustle. I'm a hustler. I got a hustler spirit. Ambition is always there. Right. I'm a father, I'm a grown ass man, I'm a street nigga. You get all in one. I am so well rounded and I ain't even bringing up money yet. So this is all I'm talking about bringing to the table. Right. Me not even having the money, it's just me being a leader. Me knowing how to make shit move. Like I really play chess. Mm -hmm. Five steps ahead. So we gonna be all right. Now, so you bring I let people know me right. from the rip right. without knowing what I bring to the table. Just to see how much you into me for. Right. That, that's the hardest thing that you can find with women. Now, when I'm at the light, they see me, they already know, bang, damn, he in a range. So you already know it's some type of money somewhere. Right. If you just see me around, I holler at you, mm -hmm. and you like, uh, no, I'm good. Oh, cool, keep that same attitude when you see me hop and it's John right here, cool. or will you see me grab this tab, or will you see how much I got in my bank account, mm. don't come like, oh shit, mm. all right, you him, no, 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 right. same energy. So that's the so shit I bring to the table is more than, I think the shit I bring to the table right. is more than any nigga. All right, so I'm, just I'm one, at 2%. Just one, all right, so just one thing, okay, so boom. So you bring the ambition and the personality Man, I of bring the dick hard. I bring it all. No, no, no. Just one, just no. one thing first. Just one thing. Start, this table start. is full. Right, all right. This me... table got a reserve <laughs> sign on it. And I'm waiting for that one. You hear me? All right, Starter, you give me one thing. Support. Because we want support. All right, ping pong it back. Well, name one thing. Don't don't name all your attributes. Name one more thing. Me? Yeah. I'm a provider. All right, Star. Dedicated. Will? Lover. Star. <laughs> backbone. What the fuck does that mean? I'm your whole backbone. She gonna hold me down. Oh, yeah. here we go, because that sounds like you nigga started. Need a spine. She about to say she the table. <laughs> yeah, so all right, all right. So, no, not the table. No, all right, all right. I'm here for this. All right, so so let's go. So let's go out of all all of the internal intangibles. Let's go. External. External. Nigga, I got the looks. Fuck is you talking about? I look good. Nigga, I, you, you ain't gonna definitely be seen with no cute. duckling. All right. I'm definitely cute, for sure. All right. I throws that shit on, you know what I'm saying? All right. I'm almost 40 and my stomach is flat. Oh, shit. Fuck is she talking about? <laughs> I'm 45. I'm 45 and I can show you anything. You know what I'm saying? That's a man, though. Look, women this is what I bring. This is my women table. Women hurt after they have kids. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I had two of them and I take care of mine. I'm a father. <laughs> All right. I'm a great father. Well. Great father. Go ahead. See, I'll be like, fuck them kids, so mm -hmm. I ain't gonna bring them into it. <laughs> I do too, every other week. Yeah, fuck them kids. I when I got them, I love them. Go I'm ahead. a lover and a friend. Okay. We're gonna do this. Look at me in my eyes. We're gonna go back and forth. <laughs> go ahead. Well, I'm gonna see if you're telling the truth about all this. I go, ahead, go ahead, Will. Go ahead, Will. It's on you. I'm a motivator. I'm gonna inspire you to get whatever the fuck you got to go. Star? I'm ambitious. I'm going. Will? I'm going to hold you to that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm freaking out. <laughs> All right. I'm so a boss. I'm going to make them external. I'm a boss. Excellent. I'm going to make the right moves and put you where you got to go. Go ahead. I'm a hustler. I'm never going to be without. Now, remember, remember, this is, this is to build a relationship. Not just for yourself. Mm -hmm. 
What do you bring to the table of a relationship? I'm a hustler. We never gonna be without. Okay. Go ahead. Now I hear everything surrounding about money. How you gonna take care of me sexually? Cause all that shit is good, but to bring some shit to the table, you got to satisfy me sexually. I'm a freak bull. I'm great. You what? I'm great. You're I don't great. even gotta be too cocky about it. She great. Great at what she do, she said. I'm not even about to listen. Right. <laughs> listen. So, go ahead. Like I said, because we still talking external shit. Go ahead. External. Right. I got all the materials. I got my own crib. Pool in the backyard, all that shit. All right. So, instead of ping pong and that, what do you bring to that? What do I bring to his pool and all of that? Yeah, his crib. So, man, you still, if you, a woman's supposed to make a house a home. Men just, is the roof. I hate that bar. I hate that bar. I, I don't Why? like that house a home shit. It's not because, a home. What does that mean? Like, you're not getting, like, home-cooked meals every day. You're not getting nobody that's laying with you and going rub on you when you get out in the house and I can have a chef. Tell about that's what I'm day. saying what so what makes the difference between it's different. that and it is different because a chef is cooking because they're getting paid to and they're not cooking with love so you cook tastes with... different say that there it tastes different it she tastes put a lot like... of salt on her she salt bay over there <laughs> she gonna make sure the cholesterol is just right so uh, she ain't using lard when she cook <laughs> so let me she ask you a question margarine. So, so what if he was only able to provide half of the things that he said at that table like I was camping I came to the yeah, table yeah, camping yeah. Like, like, I was, right, right, like, like a job interview. Yeah, I came yeah, lying about right, every you, fucking you, you, thing. You lied, you lied in your resume. Say I explain you. You know what I'm saying? So what you do is, could you still bring 100% of what you're talking about to the table? <clears throat> I'm not going to do nothing if I'm not doing it 100%. Okay, so you you would still go all the way in even if you found out that that wasn't the case. Even if you, even if it's so ambition. So what if I found out not the case, that he don't got the house and all of that? Right, right, or he got it. It just ain't what it what it. It's in my oh, mama okay. name. My, I live with and my then, mom. Then if the ambition is not what you thought it was. That part I can't rock with. I mean, it's not bad. It's just not the ambition you thought it was. I he need ambition. Right, so wait, wait, what's the deal breakers? Because she said right. that part she can't rock with. So every relationship got deal breakers. We just sitting around, we meeting. I got two deal breakers from the rip. If you right. say it, I pat you on your back. No matter how much I want to smash and I, I can't make you my girl. I can't fuck with you. <laughs> Dead ass. What is the deal breaker? I ain't having no more kids and I ain't getting married. That's a deal breaker for me. That's that. I've been through all that. I'm done. I got got my kids already and I'm cool. That's that. Well, I don't want to get married. Titles changes things. Get that girl that title. It, the the friendship gone. Where you at? What you doing? You want to go through the phone? All that. When we was first kicking it, everything was cool. We was high five and I was watching the Eagles game with you and shit. You was my buddy and my lover. I made you my main bitch, my wife, and right. now. Okay. All that shit. Now you got expectations. You treat me different because of the title I gave you. Right. And you wonder why I changed. No, nigga, you changed first. Do the same shit you did in the beginning of this relationship to keep me. That's how you. That's how this is going to work. Um, I, I don't care about none of that. See? <laughs> I, what, does that what does that mean? I, I, I really is not um, a need for me to have more kids. Like, to be honest, I probably would only have another kid if I was with somebody that probably wanted more kids and we got married. But I don't need to be married either. So, so yeah, so you cover so a couple different me. bases. I, I don't... So, no, so I'm you, just saying, like, those are deal breakers What's for him. Those breakers? are not something that will make or break a relationship for me. Like, if I'm not going to be like, oh, if he don't want to never get somebody married again, I mic. can't deal with him. Somebody want to get on the mic. Come What's on, your deal breakers? On, come on over. Uh, oh, I want to hear her deal breakers, though. Nikki, what? Hey, hold on. Let me plug the mic up. Let me plug the mic up. I want you to talk. I got one thing to say. Uh, about to, okay. Come over here talking no bullshit. No, I just got one thing to say. All right, hold on one second. Because when we don't talk about marriage, I'm going to tell you what's the problem. Right. You guys sit down for a second. You can't just get up and... I didn't say that. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Speak, speak your piece. Okay. I've seen a post earlier, yeah. and I'm going to... And I really liked it because it says that marriage is not bad. It's the people that mm -hmm. makes it bad. Right. Same thing I with agree. guns. I agree. Exactly. I agree. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Marriage is a good thing. Everybody try to make it say that marriage is not good. Don't do it. Da -da -da -da. No, it's the people right. that keep the bullshit going on in it that makes marriage bad. The bullshit like what, though? I'm just saying different things. I'm just saying marriage is not a bad thing. Everybody always, 
talk <laughs> negative about marriage. You're talking to somebody that's been there, done it. Right, right. Plenty of times. Right. Mm -hmm. It's the people. To make a marriage work, it takes both of them. It's the people. Amen. And it will work if the two people put in, you know, the, the work. work. It's hard work. What's, but, it, I'm a, but marriage is not easy. What's, not. The, what's, what's the specifics? See, I think a lot of well, times I'm we need to skate over that. What's well, the specifics the, that, that can keep something together? Because of uh, communication. Right, right, right. If you don't have no damn communication, it's not going to work. Right. Because you should be able to say when you're happy. Comprehension, too. Because exactly. people can communicate you listen. and you exactly. can't comprehend you got, what they're trying to say. You, you should be able to tell your partner. Mm -hmm. Three C's, communication, comprehension, and compromise. Without them getting mad and all that, y'all should be able to talk, communicate. Oh, trust. Mm -hmm. Trust is a must. Trust, okay. What because about when somebody lose that trust, right. now y'all trying to build and y'all trying to get that trust back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's so hard to get mm -hmm. it back. But trust, communication is one of the top. What about finances? Because that, that breaks a lot of seventy five percent of all marriages break up because of seventy five to eighty percent of all of them break <laughs> but up. But my thing marriage. is, when y'all made them vows, of course, rich or poor, from right. death to us poor, rich or poor, rich, rich or, or poor. poor. So when the fi so when the financial problems come up. Y'all supposed to carry each other. Man, them vows are just You're like the Bible. People exactly. pay attention to what commandments, what vows they want to hear. Exactly. They want to pay attention because to. Because when financial, y'all supposed seat. to work together. Am I right? Y'all supposed Absolutely. to work together. Now, if I lost my job, or I'm doing, I'm look. He's supposed to get, and if he do, because you, I'm a ladies. See, I'll, thank let you. Me, hold up, hold up, ladies. I love y'all to death. I'm a woman too. Yep. But I would tell you when a lady is wrong. And you got a lot of ladies out here. Mind. You have a lot of ladies out here. A lot. A lot. A lot. When shit go wrong. Right. They get left. No, 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 no. 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 They leave. No, no that's they, what I meant. Listen. Right. They some, not all. Let me let me let me let me, let me say this. 80, I want, 80%. I'm not gonna say all. 80%. You got a small, you got some that that turns on their man. Listen. If y'all in this together. He loses his job or he's down, he down. You supposed to lift him up and you supposed to handle business. Period. Period. Y'all supposed to be 50-50. If I'm down, you supposed to handle that. And that's where a lot of people mess up with the finance. Because right. most ladies be ready to be like, uh, by, at this point, you can't get everything you had right now. He's down right now. Stick in there. Y'all work together, and then sometimes you go back up. Y'all supposed to, if y'all down, y'all supposed to be down together. And y'all rise together. Right, and that's right. the problem yeah. with marriage. I agree and that's, that. and, and that's couples, too. Mm -hmm. It ain't got to be married. It can be got, in a relationship. You got morals versus courtship. So here we go with, all right, I'm, I'm going to talk about the two things. We talked about finances. If you lose your job, we was together. You lose your job, right. I'm going to hold you down. Mm -hmm. All right, but. If you fucking up my money, just blowing it on dumb shit. Oh, no. Now, no. I got a problem with you. You're gone. Exactly. All right. Now, uh, medical. Let's go with if you gain weight. If you gain weight because of a medical issue, I'm going to stick by it. I'm going to ride by it. Oh if you just sit your ass on the couch and you and eat and you get fat, and you get... that's on you. I'm gone. It's no... No. no, you just said that you don't want kids and you don't want to get married. Now she can't even No, no. Listen to what I... It ain't Eva. get sick. Because, listen. Are you going to warn her? Like, listen, like you're not. No, I'm, I'm, I'm part of it. So if I keep my body tight, no, you're going no, with me. No, that's not what I'm saying. No, you're, you're going, going with me. me. Are you We're going doing things now, as she a. she don't want to do it. No, ain't no, she don't want to do it. If she don't, I know what you're talking about. It's called about. working on this marriage, some right? People, some people don't want to work on it. They just sit around all no, that. No, no. I understand what you're talking about. Once again, if I tell you, if we write down the top five things we want in marriage, mm -hmm. and, and I say sex is number one, sex means. I want to, I want to have sex with you because I'm attracted to you. Right, it's right, right, something right, about right. you exactly. I want to. Right, so if right, my right. eyes start glaring over here, and it's not because you having medical issues, it's because you sitting on a couch watching rerun after rerun after. No, 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 no. You gaining weight and all that shit and let yourself go. Oh, then I'ma holler at this one over here because I already warned you and I told you <laughs> what I want in the relationship. But how? Period. Do we, how do we get into the position in which that we keep? 
all of this on track because it has to be some sort because in order for marriages to stay together people get married and they get divorced and they figure like all right it's the grass is green on the other side or they die alone Either the either one or two things. Because sometimes you know the saying? grass ain't greener. Sometimes the, majority the grass of the time, is greener where you water it at. I agree with that. Sometimes it's fake. <laughs> all the Sometimes it's, it's all the yeah. but, yeah. yeah. but I also ran yeah. across a lot of people that just <laughs> rather be a bachelor all their life, and I don't knock that. If that's what you choose to do, and you want to be single in your life, and you want to mess with this person. You don't want to be in a relationship. You don't want to be. It's nothing wrong with that. Right? That that's because they was in a relationship and they got hurt and they not doing that shit no but more. But I just. But if that's how yeah, they choose I, to live their life, that's fine. That. I don't knock people that do that. Right. You got some people. But I just like you said, want to be a <laughs> They don't want to be married. They don't want to be in a relationship. They just do them. It's about communication. Because yeah, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna let you know from the rip. What I want, what I'm into. I ain't got time to be trying to trick you and all that type okay. of shit. No, I ain't <laughs> right, got right, no right, girl. Right. And then I go to the mall, you walking by. Oh, I thought you ain't had no. Bi- I don't do drama. Exactly. I don't do. Dr- I, do, Neither, I no do drama. big boy shit. Exactly. So I'm gonna let you know everything up front. Wrong women shit. Everything. Exactly. Play your fucking role. That's me. Why he got point at me? I'm telling you. No, he. It was. I think it just went that way. Right. Yeah. You, you just <laughs> said a lot Every time of fire. No, I, I, play your fucking role. <laughs> I think he just pointed that way. Nah, I'm tired of the aggression. <laughs> the Be line, submissive. It was in the line of fire. <laughs> you just sitting there. It was, it was like that way. But that's the part of the communication. I'm not hiding nothing. I don't want... No, we're not doing this dance. I'm going to let you know, yeah, you're getting a little big. Let's go hit the gym. Right. Yeah, right. you didn't shoot it. I don't care they how... Don't, oh, they hurt my feelings. I'm not trying to... No, I'm, I want you to hear it clearly. But that's where I'm communication comes in. I'm not going to say, oh, that shirt. That's definitely you supposed you to, but you got some people that don't. You watch that shirt 64 times and getting <laughs> tight just, around you. They just no, turn around and cheat. you getting big. He but said, that's where communication comes in. He said you watched that shirt. You telling them. But you got some people <laughs> that just go cheat. Don't, they don't tell nothing. They just oh, go on about their business. You, just, you got communication. Right. That's I'm telling when, you, when get you, up and go with me to this gym. I feel like when you reach a certain level, you you can do that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's like, so that I means be, when you reach you, a certain level, you, you can do table. what you want. You bring, no, no, don't do no, that it stuff. don't mean that. No, no that's, that's what you're saying. No, I'm bad. saying no, communication is different. Because if I need you, you if I'm staying said. at your house, no, listen to what I'm saying. What? If I'm sleeping on your couch and then I make my way up to the bedroom, you know, I upgrade. <laughs> I can't fuck that up because I'm homeless. I can't talk to you a certain way. Because I still need a place to stay. You see what I'm saying? If I got my own shit, you're going to hear my real feelings come out, which you should want to hear from a nigga. You should want a nigga to hold shit in, be like, damn, I can't really say or do this because I'm scared she's going to kick me out or she ain't going to let me hold a so car and drive So why would I make money? Work. My real feelings can't come out. No, I ain't say it couldn't. I just think that we talk to each other bad. And that's real shit. I think that we talk to each other bad. I think that especially black relationships. We yeah. talk crazy Expectations. Yeah. Like, like, we like, don't listen to each other. Yeah, and we talk like yeah. the shit we say is That's why. You don't want to listen to nobody talking crazy to you. No, yeah. I think we listen, it, yeah. but we listen to hear the stuff that I'm going to use later to hurt you. You understand what I'm saying? Absolutely. So yeah, I'm going to hear all defend, your shit. Not I'm going to hear it, ooh, ooh, but that, it's coming back. It's y'all, coming back y'all, later. Y'all get, y'all get good at this. Y'all get ooh. good at this because that segues right into the next thing I want to talk about. <laughs> Gotta love that. Um, how often can your man cry around you? What are you crying for? See? see no, I'm asking. I, I'm fuck what he crying for. How often it does it, it doesn't it doesn't matter. I'm gonna be there for him. Don't matter. Yeah, it don't I don't matter. care about that. Oh, okay. I don't have a problem with that. I don't think you're No, I just said what he crying for because Damn, sis. to me, men not seeing it like that, but right. a lot of men. If you're you going in. through a period of time where you may need to cry every day. But it's not going to be forever. I'm a cancer. But I cry a lot. Than that, yeah, I'm a yeah, cancer. Other than that, other than that, I don't listen. Shit, I cry when I fight. I'm a my cancer. eyes water up, no, but I can out. see through the no, bitches because I'm about no, to no. knock you the fuck no, out. No, cancers cry when they get real mad. Yeah, I, I, y'all can't cry when be. y'all watch movies. I'll yeah, be, yeah, I do that too. I'll be, I'll be no, that, I'll be I only cried dude. on a couple. I think color purple. And, nah, um, I'll still be. Girl, you cry. Well, I, I, I cried when I saw Will Smith. He's like, "Why my father don't want me, man?" Oh, oh my god! god. I, cry every time. Shit. I don't care how many times I see that. She cry crying. every time. I, I, I put my no head up like this. Oh, you talking about Fred Jackson? He, he uh, go. No, I try to suck the tears no, back up in the well. He did excellent on that. I, I, I'll be forty in April, and like I can feel the emotion yeah. at all times. 
So, so it's you feel like it's worse I watched I watched Remember the Titans and tear up. My son told me I was his best friend the other day. He's 19. Man, yeah. listen, man. I had to oh, yeah. 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 take a fucking moment. I'm like, <laughs> right, right, my dude, right, right. Talk to me. <laughs> I was <laughs> sucking. Yeah, man. Teddy, like, I love this stuff. You be 40? Yeah, I'll be 40 in April. Okay. Yeah, so. She has to the 40 club. Yeah. Y'all in the 40 club. You 40? Yeah, <laughs> Y'all need to join the 50 club. I'll be 50 one. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. be 50 one. I know. Who's going to be your birthday last year, 51. y'all? Go next year. When your birthday, tell me. First. I'm always number one. Um, okay, everything right. about me, everything <laughs> about me is about that it's one. Okay. I'm him, not but them. But I'm right behind you, but I'm him, not them. I'm, right I'm not right. them. How old you gonna be? Forty-five. All right, and I'll be fifty-one. So we good? We yeah. t- we cancer. So it's cool. So you don't have a problem. I don't with have no problem with that. No, we don't have problem with crying. No. Yeah, that, and, and, and you ain't no bitch. She was calling a bitch. Leave. Now, let me. Yeah, that's what they see. That and was the thing. I've never felt you like cry. that. I think you it's cry all the time. I think it takes more to cry than me. to hold it in. But that's the reason why I ask that because a lot of times it gets weaponized against people. Me. Hold it yeah. in. They know. I don't know. They lash out. Maybe if men got to cry more and feel comfortable with it, they won't be. Yeah, like let that shit out. So you they can't because they're gonna get talked about like they bitches. Watch no, the company no, 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 This bitch ass nigga stay crying. Right. Yeah. Oh, what is it this time? Like, oh, what is it this time, Miss like, Toots? I know. You crying again? I'm only tease you if it's a movie, but I'm not gonna be like, you're a bitch. I'm like, you're such a crabby. But I think yeah. it's cute. The, be- the best man holiday, man. I, it was over. Oh, it was, yeah. It was over. I, I that, can't even rewatch that. Was it. I, I had to walk out of the fucking room. I said, oh, you, you done lost your fucking mind. Walked up I can't and rewatch I said, it. Because it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. Did y'all watch the new one? I have. Yeah, what you think about that? I, I thought I, it was amazing. I thought I it was like very it. good. What you think about what's not now? That was I think good. she was out of pocket. Ooh, say it again. She was out of pocket. Like, how dare you? This man did exactly what every black man, white, every black woman, white woman, every woman on the face of the earth wants to happen. This man working hard to provide for his family. Sometimes he's what, away. What, did she left him? She, oh, you didn't see it? I seen it. The spoiler, whole continent spoiler, too. Spoiler alert! Spoiler because alert! Because she went over there and liked how it is over there. Right. And she decided she everywhere. wanted to leave, and I I just think that she was out of love with him. But I wish they would have said Either that. Either way, than you her don't leg. go to another continent. We have a kid, and that's what I'm saying. And giving that's her, she, out of pocket. She went there and liked the peace and all. Because the compromise could have been like, listen, I love it over here. Can we go here like once a year? Let's spend the summers here. Something like that. Like, yeah, that's a think, compromise. But I think she kept, think that, right? but I kept, think she kept trying to hold that uh, Neil Long crap against him. You got feelings for so what? But he's with you. He told you he's with you. Y'all have a, a, a child. You understand? I think yeah, yeah, she yeah. tried to push that, okay, you almost too much. Like, but well, he's, well, for the listeners and anybody that's in here that didn't see it or whatnot, and essentially what happened was she decided that the lavish lifestyle that he was in the midst of actually providing for them, building for them. Like the, his first book became a movie. They bought a brand new condo, nice little joint in New York. And you know, that shit like three mil. You know what I'm no, saying? No, they wound up getting a townhouse. He was getting that bread. No, that was what was a brownstone. Yeah. It was one of them brownstones. Brownstones they like are four very or five million dollars. Yeah, expensive. They, yeah, they're very expensive, especially in New York City. Like, he was doing all that, and he was away from time to time, and I think that she felt away about him being away, and she started liking one of the bulls and shit like yeah. that. I've seen that. But for, you, what I can't stand is that I think that we pander. I think that a lot of times black uh, uh, directors pander to, to black women in, in those positions. Like, Tyler Perry do this shit all the time. For oh, her, for her so to awesome. even get the opportunity for him to say, okay... I'm just gonna eat that and let you take my daughter to Africa. Yeah. Fuck out of here. Yeah. I think because everybody came like, at I think because everybody came at him and he just figured like, you know, let me let her go. But because how is remember that? everybody was That's coming at way him. Too far. That's not right at all. No, like, it wasn't. Like that is crazy. I That's think I would have still how he's supposed to be in a effective father from across the continent. Like they in a home. But you you know, but at the end, of course. It's something she happened. He can't just and let her jump come home. Okay, for, for, his for a visit. Thing. But what happens if something medically <clears throat> happened and all of that? You know how long it's going to take him to get there, even on an airplane? 
I just don't like I don't like the pandering in that in that instance. That was what, what's right is right and wrong is wrong, and I think that and I understand how everybody feels that well, all right, it's yeah, it's both their kids, but it's always suspected that the mom is is definitely gonna be the primary caretaker. But in this instance, to understand, you gotta understand. This nigga was the ultimate provider. Ultimate. She you know did. It's like she, she resented the pro, the things that he was providing because she didn't right. even want the house. She didn't want that. She damn sure didn't want the house. She didn't want it. That shit was vicious too. Cause I, I let me tell. Cause her plan me, was to move across the continent the whole time. And that's my whole Girls point. Girls already know. Like y'all think outside the box. Even if y'all got a man, y'all already got a nigga on standby. Oh, you oh, you oh, ain't got to oh, cheat, but you know who's next. Here's the you thing. I'm going to play devil's advocate for her already. for a minute. I'm going to play devil's advocate for her for a right, minute. Do that. She's do that. definitely the villain. I don't I didn't I didn't I didn't fuck with what she did at right. all whatsoever. Okay. But I do think it could have turned out different had he she wanted that building. He, yes, he messed I up. I think that that could have maybe missed, made a difference. When he missed the um, he missed cut the off for that. Cut Remember, she was building. like, "Baby, you got to do it by this time." I think that was right. the icing of the cake yeah, that made her want to leave. That's like, never he, mind. I'm just because it's like you're worried about all about you. You you forgot what I yeah. said. That's, I still she don't make the way she handled it. I know because right, if yeah, she yeah. would have got the building, she would have stayed, but she still handled it. But she handled it wrong. But I think it was best. I think it was best because I think it still was fickle. That was extremely. Yeah, extremely with the building, they still would have ended. I think yeah. he was okay. I'm not saying not. They were, they were, they were on their way out. They was going to be done, right? right. No she, matter what. But yeah. I feel like with that building, she would have not moved exactly. so far away. Even if they would have broke up, she, she was, was still really there passionate with her about this daughter. Yeah. Period. All right, so I like that little, I like that little best man wrap up or whatnot. Right, we're we gonna play a little game real quick and then we the fuck out of here. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm about to leave. This, <laughs> this is called the grade yourself, nigga. Don't move. Stay right here. All right. This is the grade yourself game. We gonna. Uh, I think we should. Like, let's start with star. I'll go last. Number All one. Right. Grade yourself from one to ten in the following areas. In regards to the opposite sex, are you ready? Meaning how I think they think of me, or no, the way that you think of yourself in regards to them. Okay. So okay, all right, cool. Friendliness. Ten. Mm, no <laughs> shit. This was, you too friendly. You too fucking friendly. I'm a bartender. You too fucking friendly. You fucking nice ass out of here. I'm you a bartender. Always, I'm always friendly. Always up with a nigga. Can I help you? You want extra ice with that? Friendly don't mean. You hug six niggas that night. Friendly don't mean. That ain't friendly. You know what I'm all right, all right. <laughs> my drink was watered down. That nigga had real <laughs> top shelf liquor. I'm crying. Watered my coffee. That nigga had milk. No way. Milk. All right. O- open mindedness. Uh, seven. Seven. Why? Yeah. Cause certain things I probably could be more open minded about. Like three seven, but I do I do feel like I'm open minded, but there you should. See. Polygamy uh, absolutely not. See, See Six. yeah. Down seven. Five. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like a four, but yeah, I really right there. Seven. Uh sexuality. Twelve. What? You the second person because I, I, I did this on another on my other podcast too. So you're taking an ass? The same thing. No. See, I'm asking sexuality. You got to talking feel to free. me. You got to feel free to answer these questions. I need to know you're where you what are you basing me. it off of? Jesus Christ. What are you basing He's it off talking of? Talking to ask me. what she's basing it off of. She's going to ignore me. Let's let's finish. Let's finish. Hold up. Um, willingness to be led. Ten. Two. Really? What? You I put yourself want to be ten? submissive you so You are bad. submissive? Yeah. I, I, Take your I'm not inside <laughs> of a situation. It's hot in here. I Take want to be, like, She don't even I listen, don't. bro. How she want to be submissive? She can't take a goddamn <laughs> coat off with a grown man that's talking. Good. That's because she got a goddamn real camera nigga talking. underneath there. Yes, <laughs> 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 she wired. She got a goddamn wire and a camera under there. All right. The ability to fall in love. Ten. I'm a hopeless romantic. Really? Uh, you yes. already judge niggas by the book. The ability, the ability, though. Not just the willingness, the ability. Eight. All right, all right, okay. Recognizing a good man. Pfft. 
Uh, like six. Oh, six. One. Uh, nigga you right said next six? to him. She don't even right, know. Right, right. Can I excuse myself? I'm sorry. I'm what being what honest. I'm going to say <laughs> six. Oh, all right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, we'll, be, we'll be on you by the time you get back. Come right back. Watch the lines. Yep. Um, you know a good man when you see one. I said six. I'm not good at that. All right. Recognizing a bad man. Eight. The eight? Mm. You can? That, that Does that mean she can or she can't? That means that It's she, from one to ten. One I to can, ten. but sometimes I'm not sure. So, eight. You, so, but you're that high that you can really recognize a, a, a wolf in sheep's clothing. She got a 20%. She got yeah. a 20% fuckboy ratio. Yeah. All right, so <laughs> that's pretty much what it is. All right. Finally, conflict resolution. I'm much better at this, so I'm going to say nine. A nine? Yes. All right. Nine. Okay, okay. Well, so you. If you would have asked me some time ago, I'd have been like zero. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm horrible. All right, well, it's on you. Eight seven five four six five nine seven. <laughs> All right, for, <laughs> for friendliness. Friendliness, I could be a dime. I, I'm, yeah, I'm friendly. All right, all right. Open mindedness. Ten. Where? I'm, I'm a therapist. I gotta listen. Oh yeah, that's true. I, I, that's true. Yeah, I, I, I'm that's very cheating. open. Yeah, that's I'm that's very kind of open. I, I have even, gay friends and all that. I'm, I'm even open. if the nigga wasn't open minded, this open minded. He's actually schooled and trained right. to be to open minded. Yeah. So that's like yeah, default. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That means I'm a perfect man, star. <laughs> Stop <laughs> playing. Sexuality. So you See, say. you can re- realize it. Sexuality. Yeah. Oh, I'm a ten with that too. Listen, I'm I, an exhibitionist. I walk out butt ass naked. Like I, my sexuality, I'm free. I've yet to ask a nigga that that didn't say that same shit. I'm free. But well, hold up, you see, uh, and I can hold it down. Willingness to be a leader. I am a leader. I'm a CEO. I'm a ten. That's a ten too. Damn, these tens. You see all these ten star, <laughs> big star. You see all these tens, big star. The ability to fall in love. Like a four. Damn. You got to explain that. I've been hurt, bro. You got to... This heart chisel. I got this ice box where, where my, my heart, heart used, used to be. be. So cold. Uh, I'm so cold. Uh, <laughs> Recognizing a good woman. Praise the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a pastor. Praise the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I... I want to say 10. I could recognize a good woman, but I don't, I would start to look for the other qualities that I want in a woman right. that I don't think that good woman possess. And then that would take away from me wanting to you just, pursue man, you just, her. Yeah, you just got complicated right there. Right. All but right, you right. understand what I'm saying? I understand exactly what you're saying. So that's it's why. There's a lot right. of great women out here. All right. But so recognizing a bad good woman. for man. you. Oh, I can recognize those too. Uh, but I want to say probably. With me being a little superficial, I'm gonna say a seven, because it's some girls out here that's like the looks. You get so caught up in the looks and the right. first impression. It's like you for you see those red flags, but the motherfuckers start to look like six flags at great adventures <laughs> and shit. So you Not ignore the motherfucker. Not but, six flags. You know they there. You know she right. toxic, but right. you willing to take that chance. Finally, conflict resolution. Well, that's a ten. I can work anything out, bro. That's my job. That's what I do. I'm I. I can yeah, work see, that's not that's some me, though. That's not what I bring. Some of them are not fear. That just mean I'm great. Why they fear that I'm that great? But you know what it is that. But but a lot of times, schooling and education and shit like that especially in his field and experience and experience leads to a better point of conditioning so therefore if he understand has a little better understanding of certain things so the honesty comes off even even in the back of his mind if he didn't really feel that way he understands what it takes in order to kind of mold himself into that it makes sense he still is an asshole I can't but be. Yes. Yeah, that wasn't one of the questions, though. <laughs> can be. Part of my personality. I'm very sarcastic, but that, that's my personality. All right, let me see if I answer different, because I've answered this before. Friendliness. I'm not super duper friendly, especially at my age that I'm at now, because I just don't have a, time, a lot of time for bullshit. So I've had people rate me like a four. I kind of I go with that. 
You know what I'm saying? I'll say it for it. Because I, I'm not a dick. Like, I'm, I'm a really good guy. It's just the fact that I don't have time for it. No, no, no. Shit. Now, now, now I, I want to piggyback off that. Because right. I'm from North and a lot of guys, anything you do, if you support anybody, that's why black people don't support other people. Because oh, yeah, you right, right. it's you dick right. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, right. Exactly. Oh, you, oh, you jealous. Oh, that nigga dick. You know what I'm saying? Like, all <laughs> no, that crazy hey. shit. Because I'm supporting. Right, right, it's, right. It equates to dick right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you, have a, when you a man of a certain stature, a woman of a certain stature. Right. You get schooled on knowing you have to be friendly in certain situations because if you don't, you're going to get looked at wrong. You're going to get sized up. You're yeah, going to get targeted. Yeah. Right, so right. if you appear to be friendly, it's like, oh, I know that nigga. Well, he cool. He, you know what I'm saying? But if I if I start shutting, like, you ain't on my number, like, fuck out of here. Like, right, then right, you right. you creating enemies, the unnecessary shit. Yeah. So it's a survival tactic. See, I'm, not, I'm never that guy. I'm just like, like, like when it comes down to it a lot of people don't like we don't we don't have an understanding of, of right of where i'm coming from a certain i ain't gotta things. know you i gotta know how you people, move people just feed a lot of bullshit people just run around with a backpack full of bullshit you can read and a nigga get, in two minutes get, oh my god two minutes that's all it takes for you to read somebody to know what their backpack. intentions are trying to say did I say you had a backpack full of bullshit? Yeah, I'm just saying. Oh, alright, I'm just saying. <laughs> she had a bunch of bullshit without the backpack. <laughs> backpack, 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 backpack. Uh, oh, open mindedness. Uh, I think I'm extremely open minded. Extremely open minded. You're absolutely not. What? You're very chauvinistic. Like. I'm extremely, but I'm open minded. I get you it. You're not open to knowing that there are good women out here that do have respect, that can hold you down, that can do this and that. No, no, they always are, talking no, shit. They, no, they out here. They are out here. Few and far between, but they <laughs> out here. Where they at, they though? Out, they open exactly. minded. Few Keep open mind. do. I'm open minded to the fact that Where I know it's, it's good ones. So, and bad what's your ones. number for open minded? 10. Absolutely not. You a lie. Eight. Go to the next one. To eight. Eight. Seven point five. You, nigga, you indecisive. How you nah, jump nah, from nah. a confident <laughs> ten to eight, eight, eight? God, no, no. Because she I'm said so. No, I feel like I'm open minded though. I'm a ten. I'm a ten. I'm, I really am. Now you back to a ten. See no, how no. we both persuaded him. This nigga can be easily and, manipulated. And you know what? And that's what makes me <laughs> open minded. Yeah. 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 Exactly. He made sense, she made sense. Exactly. So I'm listening yeah, to both of right. you. Exactly. I'm coming to compromise. So <laughs> sexuality. Um Yo. Remember the first the second episode that we ever did? And the first one of the things that we was talking about was that as we grow as men, it feel like if your money ain't right. And your success portion of I it, wanna right? do now. You ain't really worried too yeah. much about getting none. Mm -mm. Like that's my brain is kind of on that. I, like, you know what I mean? And when you're younger, it's different and whatnot. When you're grown man, you done see every ass and every type of direction, and you know what I mean? That all you gotta do. <laughs> you start to realize, like, yo, you know so what? So you were two? Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> Definitely about a seven point five. But you know what I mean? That's only because it's, you know what I mean. Ain't nothing wrong. It's just like. Hey, look, you know what I'm saying? I'd rather take a nap. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sometimes a nap is the shit. You ever had a good nap in the Yo, middle of the day? I love a nap. My oh, nigga. Yeah. I'm going to nap like a five-year-old in kindergarten. I'm that shit nap. is so rejuvenating. <laughs> rejuvenating. <laughs> rejuvenating. <laughs> a rejuvenating nap. Um, willingness to be a leader. Yo, if I'm... If, if I'm in a position, I feel like that's all contingent upon my momentum. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes when you, you know what I mean, you go through mental health is real. So if you're down on yourself, no, it it's, is. Hard, it's harder to be that full-fledged leader. But when you feeling, when you feeling like you, you in your pocket, oh my gosh, you'll be the greatest fucking leader on but, the place. No, no, no. A real, the greatest leader knows when to delegate. See, I can be a leader Ooh, and strong go. in a lot of different areas. I like that. I like that. But oh, if it's some shit I don't know, yeah. I'ma say, yo, listen. I agree with that. Thank you for pointing me out, but I'ma put him on top of that because right, right. I know he's better at that than me. I agree. And me I being agree. a strong leader yeah. as a team, I, know, the I know when <laughs> to push that shit around and I not take lead on shit. I agree with that. No, no, 100%. Come through because, with the word. No, absolutely. Um. 
the ability to fall in love. Uh, I've been married for 16 years, and I was all before. I actually got a serious girlfriend. Yeah, I was a fucking hopeless romantic. I was sucking for love. Here's the funny thing about it, though. My love candle is done. If I Damn. fall out of love, I will never be back in. That's real. We if we break up and I divorce. Are you in love, though? Shut. Of course. Okay. My baby. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But it's only it's in that place. It's like that flower that's in Beauty and the Beast. You know what I'm saying? The petals can fall off, but it's only going to be in one one spot. And at the end of the day, if for any reason that shit is, it dies and is done, then ain't no room for no more. Beauty and the Beast one of my favorite movies. That's though. my shit. That's my shit. Tell us oldest. Don't do that. Song is oldest. Right. Right. That's my shit. Um, <laughs> recognize. They're gonna say now. Do a duet and some shit. No. Recognizing a good woman. Oh, I'm a fucking 10, 10, 10 plus with that. You know what I'm saying? Because I see them. Now, do I not? But I also can see traits that are not the greatest. It doesn't mean that you're not a good person or a good woman. It's just the fact that I see through all the Maybelline. Maybelline. You're not fucked up. It's just that I know where to kind of aim. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that. You could just be that boring to me. I don't. I'm like, damn, she's a great woman. Why am I doing her like this? Cause yeah. you boring as fuck. You boring me to death. So, so it's like they a good woman. They just not good for you. You, you could just you could be good, just not My good type. for good. you, or good for you, right. or good in certain situations. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like real talk. And that's I why that's you it. need a sister wife. Wreck it. Oh you know. my god. Shit. Work that shit out for y'all. Recognize, Whose man is this? Re, re, <laughs> recognizing a bad woman. I, <laughs> recognize, recognizing a bad woman. I can recognize. Oh my God. You talk to a woman for 30 seconds and you'll recognize a bad woman. I'm telling you. Well, I'm still here for a reason. Thir 30 fucking mm -mm. seconds. Y'all always know. slip up and say some dumb shit that y'all think is cute. <laughs> and that be a red flag. Like, yeah, I'm off this shit. Yeah, you know. The, the, I be the, so off of it. The fucking, mm -hmm. fucking got attitude. Mm -hmm. the, the attitude of, uh, what's wrong with you? Uh, I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to pay this rent. Right. Oh, no. Bad Girl, woman. Bye. That's, bye. that's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hope you figure that shit out yeah, soon. Yeah, exactly. Please no, do that. No, but listen. The true first story. Is right. Sometimes if I'm like, somebody is really annoying me and they're trying to talk to me, I do stuff like that on purpose. I don't even need it or want it or nothing. Right. But you want to know where I get fucked up when they be like, well, how what much help do you bluff? need? Right. And then I be stuck. I be like, no, it's fine. Just pick up some extra days. <laughs> but I really just said it so you could leave me the hell alone. <laughs> well, why don't you just tell a nigga to leave you the fuck alone? I don't like playing Because I'm games. friendly. Uh, here we go with the friendly shit. The first one I was talking about honesty and loyalty and all that shit. Yeah, These yeah, are shit yeah, she yeah. said right. she brought to the table 20 minutes ago. I don't nigga. know them, so I'm not going to be at their table with them. But be the real from the real. the nigga with the bad woman bar, though. You was like, I don't know how I'm going to pay these bills. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Finally, for me, conflict resolution. Um, I can resolve a whole bunch of shit. I give myself, I give myself a 10 on that, but most people will say it's like an 8. Because I'm an Aries and I'm Mr. Know It All, and I really don't feel like if I'm arguing with you that I don't have a point. So if you just listen, we can resolve this conflict. But that's the problem. People don't listen. People have their own minds and their own situations that they go through. So yeah, I would say I would say a ten for myself, but I guess it would round out to be about eight. Okay. What's your biggest turn on? Turn off. Turn on. Your biggest turn, turn on. on. Um, I do. I like the ambition, motivation. I like somebody that look like you like seeing a nigga about, in motion. Yeah, like handling business. Yes. <laughs> My biggest turn on is eyes. Always uh, eyes. <clears throat> Always eyes. Eyes will tell you everything you need to know. Because, yeah. but believe it or not, it'll. 
a woman, a bad woman, and that's another thing. When you look her directly in the eyes, it's the window to the soul. You can start to see that shit. Yeah. You start to see like, like you, like you see, say like, your sister. Yeah, hey, like all of a sudden you look, you like, what the fuck is happening right now? And it, it's just not there. No. Yeah. So, yeah, man. Well, anything y'all want to leave us with? Any, uh, any, any, anything that you learned today, Star? What did I learn today? I actually Bes- learned besides that the fact that that running behind a Cadillac is not that hard. <laughs> with I was never <laughs> chasing nobody. I don't even Look. chase my drinks. Mm. Period. Gangster. What the wow. fuck is this? Day? What the fuck is this? I just like to drink water because I was drinking so you much chasing. yesterday that I'm hydrating. You got water that with a lid on. One. No, because I get it with a cup of ice. Oh, okay. And then I pour my little, my Fiji or my Essentia in here. Yeah. She poured uh, chases in there. So what you learned? What you no, learned? What you learned today, the Will? What you learned? Just be open, man. Just be. Uh, don't try to hide. Be outright. Be yourself. That's it. Be your fucking self, whether you like it or not. You gotta be respectful for it. Facts. I agree. Uh, and I realized, I don't know, I think I always realized something, but I think I learned, and I've learned that a lot this weekend, a lot this weekend, week it's in itself, that uh, just conversations a lot of times and whatnot are, are just a, a good thing. You know what I mean? Regardless of, it's not even always up to interpretation because sometimes people, places, and things, and situations will tell you everything you need to know just by having a conversation. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Assumptions, so. assumptions are, are, are nothing. You know what I mean? When you automatically just start talking about shit. We're going to use the end out with the three C's. What's that? Communication, comprehension, and compromise. compromise. Bang. And I'm the therapist today. And this has been episode 17 of Barcast. <laughs> I'll let y'all next week. Peace. <laughs> oh, on behalf of Will the Therapist, <laughs> Superstar, I'm Mr. <laughs> know it all. I'm live from Crush Lounge. See y'all next week. Love you. Peace.